When I came up, it was a time when we rumbled with knuckles instead of rhymes. We made zip guns in shop class. It was all about who could bust that ass. We created a thing that we called the rock. It got us respect around the block. They came from the skulls and the spades just to hear the joints that Cool Herc played. We made a spot for the young sprouts to come and see if they could bust it out. If you could rock, B-Boy, or b and MC, Cool Herc Party is the place to be. Yeah. But y'all want to rumble like it's the old days instead of riding around in a flower jay. You got one shot. Get it on the humble. Make your battle a DJ rumble. rumble. <laughs> Yo, what's a DJ rumble? Be cool, y'all. In two weeks' time, your two crews will battle with your systems, your records, and your rhymes. Whichever army gets the B-Boys to rock is the army that comes out on top. Now, ladies, don't hurt nobody. Rock on. Why don't you tell Clive here to leave the damn records alone? Let the songs play, son. You got a motherfucking train to catch? <laughs> <laughs> Why you have to go fuck it up? Fuck this. See, Lester here, he's a real musician. You need to learn how to play a piano or guitar or something. <laughs> a kazoo, nigga. Leave <laughs> hey, that boy alone. You feeling what I'm making, right? I don't know that you're making anything. Preach. But I do think that you're trying. Hey, why don't you take care of this beer for me? Keep on hurt. Let me tell you something. The real date for the creation of hip hop, the real date is 1967. That's the real date of hip hop, the creation of hip hop, if we want to go there. Because that's when all of the elements were there. That's when all of the elements were there. Now, the other element, well, turntablism came in this, this, the, the 70s, the turntablism, but most of them, and, and we had two turntables going into the 60s, but 67, everything was already in place. In 67, funk was on the rise, and we needed funk breaks to create hip hop. The funk was being created, funk, James Brown creating funk. 67 graffiti started to spread in Philadelphia with cornbread when he got out of uh, the youth authority he started tagging all up in Philly and then graffiti in Philly was popping in 67 then it came to New York come on 67 also mid 60s late 60s you had variety shows where you had black dancers doing floor work that would morph into the modern breakdancing moves. That's who Trixie, Sasa, all of these guys were looking at on television. All right? In the 60s, almost 67, 67 the same year, Pig Meets Record, Here Comes the Judge, was being recorded. You think? The Here Comes the Judge record was being recorded around 67. Hey, that's when the real genesis of hip hop came into play. All of the elements started to formulate, all right? 67 is when the elements were there. Now, when it, Herc, we give Herc credit 
for bringing things together. At his parties, the elements came together. He didn't create it, but it came together in his parties. All right? All of the elements kind of came together at Herc's parties, and he focused primarily on the youth and the break beats and the funk beats and the guys hitting the floor. Did Curtis Blow say 67-2? Okay, sh I didn't even know that. I didn't know that. Yeah, I'm saying he recorded Here Comes the Judge in 67, came out in 68. But they were doing those kind of rhymes in 67 and, and up. But there were rap records of people rhyming over records in the mid-60s. But yeah, Herc curated all of that stuff early 70s. Then it started to be curated. Yeah? It all kind of came together. Now, Herc didn't create hip-hop because people got to stop saying, because Herc knows not to say he created hip-hop. You nah, guys are kids nah, nah. having a good time. You guys don't even have a name for it, right? Not, exactly. Exactly. We like we like an island, you know, we like an island coming up like a volcano. Right. Make an island. We just on the coming up. Right. We broke ground we broke ground in seventy nine. Seventy nine. That's when rap is the light went boom. Right. But but you guys started doing this in the we early seventies. We 70s. way before that. We're the like, process of that. Like seventy three? Is we from say seven seventy one. Seventy one. Seventy three we can't come back. It didn't right. start there. We can't come back. So you started we can't, in seventy one. Yeah, if you wanna go back into town, these are the people that inspired me and recognized me to play music in my apartment and they danced outside the window, outside my window, 1520 Central Avenue, 70, 71, 72, and then... Oh, yeah, and then uh, you you had your sound system working in New York from up to then. No, I was, um, you know, attending junior high school. Ah, yeah, 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 I see, I, I see, I see. <laughs> I was around 13 years old back then. Ah, uh, yeah, okay. Uh, but then you started your sound system I started to um, go to parties when I was uh, 16 years old. Yeah. And around so 18, 19, that's when I started to um, experiment with my own sound system. Or, as you know, building a sound system. Now, this was so this was like 73. Get names out now. So, 73, 74. Yeah, 70, technically, it's 70. 70. It just started to say break ground in 73. It ain't going away now. Okay. They've been knocking and knocking it from, say, 70, 71. So, other than other than like the weather and and the environment, what about the culture? How hard was it for you to to get into the culture? Was, well, I could say one thing: it wasn't it wasn't fashionable being a Jamaican right. at one point. It wasn't, right. and then I never hide my culture. Really, I never did. Well, I was getting Americanized though. I stopped. He says he's the Godfather, and I'll give him that. I'll give him Godfather. Godfather doesn't mean create, because. James Brown is the godfather of soul. He didn't create it. By definition, a godfather is not the biological father. That's somebody who nurtured and took it somewhere to another space, which they did. James Brown took soul to another space. Cool Herc took hip hop to another space. He got it and took it to another space. Not the creator. Godfather, yeah. But Herc never said he was the creator because people were focusing on break records. Remember, break records was basically, they were bringing the record back, bringing the beat back. They're just bringing the beat back. You keep bringing the beat back. All right? And Herc just kept bringing the beat back, and he kept bringing it back to a way, and the, eventually DJs learned how to bring the beat back and make it flow. All right, but other DJs were bringing the beat back. Other DJs were bringing the beat back. Sometimes they would play the whole record back. Sometimes they would play a certain part back. But Herc really specialized on just bringing back the break over and over again. He, they said it's called the merry-go-round. But Herc wasn't mixing them smoothly. He was just kind of dropping the record back over and over again. Other DJs were doing that. All right? But Herc focused on that primarily. Just bringing the beat back over and over again, and then it kind of morphed into you smoothing it out a little bit. Yeah? But 67, that's really the true year of hip-hop. 1967. Now, people like Cologne, they try to bring it to 75. 
they try to say the real date was 75 so that's when they can bring in a couple of latinos they can find some latinos who are around so that's how they can try to crowbar themselves in no the elements were coming into order 67 the elements were coming into order in 67 of hip-hop when we look at the history of it yeah and we were having block parties Heavy in 67 in New York, Harlem, they were having block parties. Remember, the block party, that's a, that was a, 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 an essential element for the block party. I mean, for, for hip hop, just going outside with the music so that the kids could enjoy it because kids couldn't go in clubs. Hip hop is youth driven. You think? So playing the music outside, that's where the youth could enjoy it. You think? So the movie, Microphone Check, man, pivotal movie. Everybody got to get involved with that, man. We got to really support that movie, man. Go to microphonecheck.com. If you have not, hit the Kickstarter page for Microphone Check. Um, hit the link below. Hit that Kickstarter, ladies and gentlemen, so we can reach our goal immediately. Hit that Kickstarter link so that we can reach our goal immediately because this is history and you guys need to be a part of that history ladies and gentlemen